We are getting into game number three, for first best of three of the evening. Wacker versus Arthur. And this game is loading up right about now to get on into this. So, um, so yeah, just uh, set this up, set the score to 1-1 one, one, and uh, bring you guys into the game. As we are here in the upper right hand corner with our yellow Protoss player. From Korea. He's just evened up the series on Merry Go Round. It's Arthur. His opponent is down in the lower left hand corner. He took that first game fairly convincingly and was looking good in game number two, but some questionable decisions. Can he pull it back here in game number three to take the series and move to the winner's match? Guys, it is Wacker from E Stars here on the lower side of Overgrowth. Shout out uh, to 30 of course, who has just hit the follow button on Twitch. Thank you very much for your support, guys. If you are enjoying the show, do make sure to hit that follow button. Check us out on Facebook as well, facebook.com slash sc2improve and twitter.com slash sc2 underscore improve uh, to see get all of our updates about what's going on, what's happening, and so on. And, uh, and yeah, come back and check us out again in the future. So we are just waiting to get into this uh, third game, waiting for something intriguing to begin happening. Always good when something does begin to actually happen in the game. Uh, makes it a lot more exciting. So, um, so yeah. Um, good stuff, good stuff. Just waiting for this to um, all get started. As um, we have a gateway and a gas on the way up on the top right side of the map from Arthur at the moment. So uh, he's got that already going for him here. And... Um, And, um, yeah, so. Corona boosting out a, uh, outlet nexus right now. And, um, this nexus is gonna start, um, keep on building these probies for now. So, um,. Yeah, I, I don't really have anything to say just yet. Go, go, Wacker from Georgia Flas in the chat. Vamos, Wacker from Ocasio as well. Vamos, vamos. Go, go from Hysteria as well. And, um, yeah, good to see you guys uh, throwing out your support. If I can, thank you for joining us. Um, yeah, it's been a bit hectic trying to organise the Summer League this year. It's not been as fun as, fun as it usually is, in all honesty. Um... Which is a little bit sad, but what can you do? Not every day can be perfect. So, um... So, yeah. Second speed does start up here for Wacker. Um... Second speed on the way, and um, pretty much standard response to a gateway expand. Even though he hasn't um, really seen much of this, he's seen the nexus on the way, so that's a little something. A couple of links heading the way across the map right now to try and uh, pick up some information as well. Sorry, I was being a little bit dull at the start of this, wasn't I? Um, my apologies. Um, so yeah, we've got um, a couple of Zerglings being turned around, a couple of gateways being added on here for Arthur. And I mean, so far he's been very aggressive in um, both games 1 and 2. He's gone for some kind of attack, and this time it is actually just going to be the straight up 4 gate. So, um, 4th gateway being added on it in the back of his main base here. And uh, this is going to get very aggressive very quickly. Now, is Wacker going to be able to hold on? Or is he going to fall to this very quick aggression coming out of Arthur here? Well, we're about to find out, guys, as... Um, we do see just a single probe, a couple of probes, a few probes here and there, just um, doing some mining. So uh, a few, a little bit of mining going down. This third base is halfway done here for Wacker, as we do have a mothership core heading across the map. Oh, Zergling finds the probe in the bottom right corner, now that's pretty huge. And uh, that means it's going to have to bring out another probe at least to get a, uh, you know, to get a pylon on the map. So um, that's quite nice. Probe goes down here, and that's a nice pick off there, as uh, another probe already starting to come out. Mothership Code is going to be uh, kind of babysitting this probe. As I said, having it around, it doesn't know exactly where it actually wants to go. 
Um, Zerglings are on the way to actually take this tower. This probe has to be very careful because these Zerglings are incoming. Okay, they're actually going to run straight past the tower for now. Okay, but now he goes onto the tower. So a probe is going to be picked off. So he's going to lose another probe here. And this is still not looking good for Arthur. I mean, he's struggling to get a probe out on the map. He's actually just going to uh, give up and yeah, fall back onto a forge. Another probe coming out of the map once again. Go Wacker, cheer for Wacker, says Port 1999. Go, go Wacker, Morgan Leaf, Leafy Zamorat. So again, a lot of Wacker supporters. The third probe gets taken down. Oh my god, Arthur. Not able to get anything out of the map here now. At this point, because he's got a forge on the way, he's not really overly committed to this. He's basically just going to move across the map and put on some light pressure, force some units. He's got a recall available if he needs it. He's actually supply blocked quite heavily right now. Taking his extra gases back at home is natural. And uh, he is coming down towards this for base. He finally gets a pylon up. With his third probe, he gets the pylon up and on the way here. So finally, Arthur, with a little bit of success... Um, some zealots and uh, sentries coming forward, sitting on the edge of this creep, uh, turned away by this uh, this green turn, this mothership core away, and this mothership core actually turns around, this bit of a mistake by Arthur, he needs to keep that safe, and uh, he will just uh, fall back home with it now, of course he needs to keep it safe because he needs to be able to recall with that, or time warp or whatever, he won't commit to an engagement, he's actually cancelled his pile and he's going to leave his probe out on the map, maybe this is the fourth probe, maybe the fourth probe will live, who knows, um, as we do have a lair on the way, an evolution chamber, is about to finish up as well and um, 17 drones are in production so Wacker going straight into drone production after seeing this attack turn around we've um, got a bunch more gateways being added on here so this is just going to be a straight up 8 gate no further tech behind it just the plus one it's just a straight up 8 gate and can Wacker hold on he's on 64 drones he's going up to 67 is he being a little bit too greedy here is he not prepared for this attack uh, we do see an overlord starting to move in towards the main base. It's going to be a long time before he really gets any information. It might even be better to move back, move into an overseer, and uh, then come in. I guess he could move this overlord into an overseer and come in for his scout. Good thing for Wacker is basically from this point onwards, all he has to make is drones and not get supply block. Basically, that's all he has to do right now. But uh, sorry, all he has to make is he only has, doesn't have to just make it. All he has to make right now is units, roaches, hydras, if that's what he wants to go for as well. Not make drones and just make sure he doesn't get supply blocks. He's about to, he starts up four overlords here, so he's looking okay in terms of the supply block. He's uh, got the house desk then on the way as well, which will help out. Going to be a lot of force fields available. His creep spread's pretty nice as well, so he's going to be able to spot this coming quite early on here. As I mentioned, Kowachi may be trying to deny a little bit of this creep spread, but will not quite be able to. So, um, Waka, how soon does he see this? Now, Arthur should be able to avoid this creep. For a little while now, he, okay, he does see a little bit of the, in fact, he sees a lot of this army coming in, so he should be able to have seen this. He's not uh, responding to it, though. Okay, now he does pull towards his third base a little bit more as this attack gets ready to come in. He's going to send some units around the back, come in from multiple angles, of course. So always going to be a better fight for you if you do that, and that's what he's going to try to do. He has so many force fields, as the first Guardian Shield does come down. Roach is already picking off reinforcements from behind, actually. First three force fields come in. Not the best force fields. They're not going to stop um, them units from protecting the third. Drones being pulled at the same time here. Wack actually has a pretty decent um, supply lead. But is it going to be enough with all of these force fields available? It makes this Protoss army so, so efficient to use. As Roaches and Hydras are swelling in here. The drones as well. Already a lot of drones have fallen. More force fields continue to come down. There's only a few sentries left though. And these Roaches from behind are going to target down the last sentries with energy. So no more force fields. And all of a sudden here, off. His army becomes a lot weaker, and uh, well, 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 these stalkers are just going to get completely surrounded. Reinforcements haven't been warped in. GG called, and Wacker takes the series two games to one. And that is game. Wacker takes the series. He moves into the winners match here in our first series of the day. And guys, series number two, DMC versus uh, Elaser will be coming up.